If God is good, then God be cool. Just take back the world who granted the fool. And self is the land that is best without man and all is free. Where are the suffers of my life? Have the seasons all gone cold? And where are the lovers of this life? And who's put the fire out in our soul? Where are the suburbs of my life? Have the seasons all gone cold? Where are the lovers of this life? Who put the fires out in our souls? What have we done? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Let me first say my condolences go out to the people who lost their family members in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, by the white domestic terrorists, the weak coward. Ryan Christopher, Paul Meter, or whatever, the, just a mess, a weak coward mess. And it ain't gonna stop there with these white races. It ain't gonna stop black people. Remember I told you we gonna be forced. This is a movement right now, and it is a time who idea who has come. You're going to have to make a choice. Either you're going to stand with your brother with his differences and all the differences that we have, just like the tribes in Africa have differences. But you see, they all are basically coming together because they see that France has got to go. They understand what white domestic terrorism is, and it's just not limited to the United States. That's the thing. Y'all act like when they cut up, when when those four, when those countries cut up Africa for colonization, that it wasn't done in America, and that we're part of the colonization in America, and like an idea whose time has come, we have got to put away our differences and come together because there are too many, too many white supremacy. There are too many in the Republican Party that don't want us to get together because this Republican Party is a bunch of fascists and racists. I don't want to hear nobody talking about mental illness because this is the mental house. But because you mental don't mean you got to be racist. Okay? I said that Governor DeSantis, Donald Trump, is partially responsible for this kind of hatred that's been laying dormant in the planet. Because see, now DeSantis wanted to do outdo Donald Trump. And to think... 
you have stupid, ignorant black people who don't want to be identified with Democrat and they don't have enough minds to say, I don't have to follow either one of them parties because neither one of them people represent me. But I will vote for who as a whole will look out for my best interest. This has political is your life. Politics is your life. People say, don't make it politics. What the fuck do you think is governing our lives? Politics. Politics is the conversation of the day. There's a lot of snakes and alligators in Florida, and they ain't just in that pond. Ron DeSantis should have been booed when he came. And for the lady that stood aside and talked about uh, with her white glasses on, she's part of the problem. You should have told him to get the F out of here. It is his policies that creates this kind of environment. You you shouldn't have objected to none of those people booing, and y'all should have kept booing, and you should have told her to go sit her monkey ass down. That's what you should have done. But we're going to get it. We're going to get it until you have the heart to tell them to go sit their monkey asses down. We're going to keep on getting this kind of stuff. We can no longer afford to have these milk toast. Black people that are helping white supremacists kill us. It's just that simple. You know, I was reading the bylaws of the uh, Congressional Black Caucus, the the Congressional Asian Caucus, um, and the one for the, the Hispanic Caucus. And do you know every one of those caucuses looked out for their best interests? They said, we want to create and deal with policies that have to deal with Mexican-Americans. Or they said, we want to deal with policy and we're going to deal with stuff that deal with Asian-Americans. They were very specific in their conversation. But when you got to the damn CBC. And see, this is part of the reason why we're being killed. They, their, their bylaws said they were a multicultural um, group that were looking uh, for the interests of, I mean, it was very vague. It was very vague. Their mission wasn't to just deal with the problems and the issues dealing with black people. No, 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 no. Just like y'all want to blame Joe Biden for the uh, uh, crime bill. And I don't, I ain't uh, uh, no sucker for Joe Biden. But the fact that the Congressional Black Caucus signed off on it, nobody want to talk about that. We got moles and sellouts that we are fighting in this community. And either y'all going to fight them See, I've been to jail for fighting. What y'all gonna do? Or you gonna let them continue to lead you to the slaughter? Okay? Because what happened in Florida should be a wake-up call. What happened in New York at the Tops grocery store should be a wake-up call. Colonization and the marginalizing of our communities and for these cowards to go after these what they consider low hanging fruit is to show you just how wicked and cowardly they are. Florida expanded the gun rights and then got the nerve to talk about mental health. This is some toxic Avenger shit. Where people are find comfort in running up, shooting up black people 
They said this guy's manifesto said how much he hated us. I'm not asking us to hate him back. He's dead. But you better start hating. Because hate can get some shit moving too. It ain't just love. Hate can get some shit moving too. And you better learn how to embrace that just as well as you embrace your love. Because see, this religion shit, I, in my opinion, got us so melted down that we don't even know how. We don't even know how to begin to love ourselves. We done forgot. I don't want to hear no Jesus stuff. Yes, Jesus loved me. Ryan Christopher Palmer wanted your ass dead. He wanted my ass dead. There's no leadership in the Republican Party. None at all. The number of a bunch of racists. Starting from when he told the guy, oh, we're not going to monkey around with this. You already know what we had coming. And if y'all don't see this Nazi sitting before you as the governor in Fl of Florida, then I don't know what to tell you. I do know that white domestic terrorism ain't going to stop. And I know one thing. We better start loving one another, getting a plan, and finding out who is on our side and kicking out who ain't. That's what we, we got to close doors and close ranks again. Got a, a state that needs the 900, 9,000 educators, and you can't even pass a law. Look, listen, y'all. All I'm going to say is, if you like what you hear, just subscribe and share the channel. I, I'm, I'm a little too emotional right now. And I don't want to say nothing that I'm going to get me flagged, kicked off YouTube. So I'm going to go. And uh, please like and share the video. Watch the commercials. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video.